Hello guys, so how are you guys? I'm here with a review of Gotham, season 1, episode 2, titled Selena Kyle. Now, in what we remember from the beginning, the pilot episode, is that, you know, Gotham is in this sort of state of chaos. Which, and the big mystery is who killed, you know, the Waynes, right? Bruce Parents. So in this episode, we start off with, we see Selena Kyle and some other homeless kids, you know, they chilling by the fire, trying to get warm. When this truck comes up, when this um, husband and wife, you know, so cheerful, <laughs> you know, like, uh, Stepford Wives cheerful, and they offer them like, some sandwiches. So, you know, of course the kids are hungry, you know, they, they're homeless, so they got no proper food, you know, unless they're eating out the dumpster. So, you know, they're eating the sandwiches, and that's why they're eating the sandwiches. They get hit with a syringe, and Selena, since she is, you know, as is more cat like, she's cautious when they first approach. You know, cats are always cautious when before you approach them. Like, if you always try to approach a cat, they be like this. They like they back away from you slowly, and they look at you. She's cautious, so she has time to run away. And then the young African American boy, he runs until the guy chases him and knocks him to a, a restaurant window. He, the little, the teenage boy, is then taken to the, you know, the station where he is questioned by um, Harvey and um, Gordon. Now, personally, they don't believe his story. They think he, may, you know, most likely he's on drugs and you know he's hallucinating, but he's telling them the truth. So, um, you know, they go investigate the um the area that's Mooney's territory, and um, they go visit her to check out what's going on, see if she's heard anything, you know, about people kidnapping homeless, you know, and the homeless kids and stuff. And she said she doesn't know nothing, you know, and she said she's surprised to see that Gordon's on his side now since, you know, they believe he killed, you know, Penguin, you know, Oswald Cobblepot. So they believe that he's on his side, their side now, so. They go head back to the precinct. The ca- uh, the- Is she, is she, is she the captain or the chief? Well, anyway, the head police officer, I don't call her the head police officer. She's like, okay, keep this on hush because if people, if this got out, you know, people, because people, you know, they're going to be in a panic and blah, 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 like this, right? So Gordon gets home, tells his wife, she makes an anonymous call to the newspaper, he gets in the news, so they question it, you know, the t- Harvey and Gordon, like, did y'all tell him He's like, no, <laughs> we didn't tell. But Gordon eventually tells Harvey, well, my wife did, <laughs> you know, I had no control over my wife, you know. And so now it's all in the newspaper, so the mayor puts on this, literally a big show saying, we're going to find the people who's doing this to these children so God can be safe again, when all of this is, is just a effing rude, because in because these people really don't care about these kids. That's, and that's the fucked up part. You know, they really don't care about these children. So we see what happens to the kids. They, um, they're locked in this, um, uh, it's a pharmacy now. Yeah, pharmacy. Farm in this, they like in the, like the basement of this pharmacy, right? And so we find out that the male and female couple, the Stepford couple, they are working for someone known as the doll maker. Now, I remember, now since this is all from Gotham, I was trying to seriously remember, like, put in my mind, who the heck is the doll maker? Because I recognize the name, but, like, I just can't picture a face. So, Gordon and Harvey get a, um, yeah, Gordon and Harvey get a lead, which takes them to this pharmacy. Now, since it's all in the newspapers now, you know, the dude who they so getting the, the, the supply of this, um, medicine they use, which is um, was used in Arkham, which was used in Arkham Asylum. He, he's like, okay, you know, all this heat is coming on. I'll get rid of the kids. Just you know, give me like some extra money and blah blah blah. So Harvey comes in, you know, when they come to the place, they didn't, they got the man in, you know, gunpoint. So he know he don't say nothing. And Gordon knows something up. So then a shootout happens. The couple get get runs away, and they find the kids down below. And then, of course, the mayor made his big announcement, like, we have finally found the kids, we're, we're going to we're gonna take care of them, blah, blah, blah. So what actually happens is, the one they consider the, the cute ones, they're going to put them in, like, a nice foster home with some good parents, while the other ones, they're going to send them straight to jail. I'm like, really? So, so Lita Kyle is one of those people. And throughout the show, she's not telling nobody her real name. She's like, just call me Cat. Or they have a real name, she's not, you know, she's just not... Who doesn't want anybody to use her name? So she um, gets on the bus only to find out that the Stepford couple hijacks the bus, takes them to this unknown location, and tries to put these kids all in the um, those crates that you always use that you see by ports. You know, 
If you live in a port city and those big old giant crepe things, it's in one of those. So Lena Kyle escapes off the bus. And she's hiding from this people. And she, like, she scratches this dude's eye out. Like, his eyes, like, he was blind. He was blind. He, he, he ain't getting all, he ain't getting this back. Alright? So she's hiding from him. Gordon and Harvey, uh, well, Harvey, Gordon lets Harvey beat the trap. <laughs> pretty much gets to beat the crap out the the guy from the pharmacy. And he's like, well, it was, it's a blue plate and a fork, blue plate and a fork. So, you know, Gordon he has a man draw and he's trying to figure out what his place is. And he's like, wait a minute, it's not a blue plate and a fork. It's a trident. So they go trident something. It's like the company of it. They get there. They find these people, see what happens. They save the kids. Kids still, for, kids, kids still get sent up north any damn way, which sucks. Because the government don't care about these damn kids. And uh, so the cow talks to Gordon and says, I know who killed the boy's parents, me and Bruce Wayne. And so then Gordon's like, dun, 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 who? So obviously, within this episode, we see more of a, a, the political system of Gotham, which is fucking corrupt as this police force. Everybody is fucking corrupt. Nobody really, nobody really cares about the people in the city. Everything is literally for personal gain. From the, the from the politicians to the police force to the criminals. Now I expected uh, criminals. You know I expected from people like Fish, Mooney, and um, um, whole boss. I expect that from them. But you're supposed to. But when it comes to your politicians and your um, your 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 your, your, the, your police force, the people who protect and serve you, you expect better of them. But this is why Gotham's in chaos. Everybody fucking two faced. <laughs> you wonder why your city is in the fucking in the ground You're, everything is corrupted but it makes for a good show and then eventually we'll get batman the savior of gotham city so this was definitely a good interesting episode obviously i really don't think they'll, they'll solve the wayne's murder mystery that easily so what they'll probably do is what i'm guessing is since selena she said she's seen him so they'll probably lead to they'll probably lead us would probably give us a clue to who actually committed the murders but you know because that could have been like a, you know a hired hand you know if you really want to kill somebody you know if you got the, you know money and power to you're not gonna send you're not gonna send you're not gonna do it yourself you're gonna somebody else to do it so that's my best guess that's what's going um is of, is of, 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 how it's going to go down it's going to be the hired hand and he's not going to tell nobody but going to give us a clue to who the real killer is so comment subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow morning for the review of episode three of god